In the recent spate of government bailouts, buyouts, and rescues, the federal takeovers of mortgage giants Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are argu arguably the biggest of them all. And those two firms are also arguably the biggest reason for the credit crisis in the first place. So the question arises, how did this come to be? Chief Washington correspondent Jim Angle reports. There is one nagging question behind all the debate over how to get out of this mess. American taxpayers are angry, and they demand to know how we arrived at this moment. My constituents and indeed taxpayers across the nation are asking how we arrived at this crisis. It is infuriating. But Senator Dole and others think they know the answer, and it's something the Senate tried to fix three years ago, but was thwarted. To the mismanagement of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac which was made possible by weak oversight and little accountability. A lot of what we're dealing with today has its origins in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, backed by the federal government, buy mortgage loans from the lenders who make them. But four years ago, both were in trouble over shoddy accounting. Fannie Mae chief Franklin Raines, President Clinton's former budget director, was fired. To placate those in Congress who watched over them, Fannie and Freddie promised to do more to help poor people get mortgages. That led them to buy riskier and riskier home loans from private lenders creating incentives for everyone to make shakier loans. The problem is that they encouraged very bad mortgages to be made by banks and other institutions because Fannie and Freddie would buy them. Eventually, they bought trillions of dollars worth of mortgages, a substantial portion of them based on poor credit, then resold many of them to financial institutions who thought they were safe because the federal government was behind them. As a result of this appearance that they were backed by the government, uh, people never paid very much attention to the assets they were acquiring or the risks they were taking. And so shaky mortgages spread throughout the system. But in 2005, the Senate Banking Committee, then chaired by Republican Richard Shelby, tried to rein in the two organizations by passing some strong new regulations. Which would have prevented Fannie and Freddie from acquiring this bad, uh, these bad mortgages. Um, it, it actually gave a new regulator for Fannie and Freddie the kinds of powers that a bank regulator had. All the Republicans voted for it. All the Democrats, including the current chairman, Senator Chris Dodd, voted against it. And that was after Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan had issued a stark warning to senators that Fannie and Freddie were playing with fire. Greenspan said without stronger regulations, we increased the possibility of insolvency and crisis. Without restrictions on the size of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, we put at risk our ability to preserve safe and sound financial markets in the United States. Which turned out to be exactly right. But because Democrats blocked it, those new regulations never got consideration by the full Senate and died. So that's how we got into this mess and how we missed a chance to avoid it. Getting out of it now, of course, will be a lot more difficult. Brett? Oh, boy. Thanks, Jim.